What's up? What's up? It's your boy D O M O Damuto. You know, I already know. You know what I'm saying? I got my boy Slate in the building. Say what's up, Slate. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got some, you know, we got some new people in here. You know, we got some new people in here. We got Psychic Potts. Say what's up. What's up, y'all? You know what I'm saying? We got Osimare. Say what's up. All right. I'm going to say, oh, you don't care? Okay. All right, man. Great got, start. Yeah. You remember King Lucky from last episode? Sure. And we got my boy, Big Dog Bully. Yo. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Before we start the show, we got to say RIP to the to the to one of the greatest. DMX. <laughs> this nigga started barking like a dog. All right. <laughs> Moment of silence. All right, cool. Let's get it. DMX, RIP. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was a moment of silence. Drop. Shut him down, open up shop. Oh, oh. oh my god. The nigga started crying. Hello, oh. Oh, bro. Oh. Some nigga wanna die. What? Anyway, yeah. I what about f- teach him? Yeah. Sean. <laughs> hey man, hey, his music was hype, bro. I don't care what nobody said about DMX, man. His music was hype back in the early two thousands, bro. In his movies too. Nigga, let's be honest, bro. Name a line from Romeo Must Die. Angels East, Angels West. Was he in that movie? Angels North and South. Know. Yeah, that was him and Romeo Must Die. Uh, see, I, I ain't watch the movies like that, but hey, RIP to I'm not saying, I, I never watched none of those movies either. I I see it. Either. But the music, though, is hype. You know what I'm saying? I always like, I always, I always like that watching that one video where um he's at um, Whitlock or whatever. Not Whitlock. What, let's, yeah. What was that? Whatever that show is. I don't know. It, the crowd, it was like a fucking a mob, nigga. It was, it was a bunch of people. You talking about that, like, that concert he was in? When yeah, he wore that, that, like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. He had that, like, a uh, red, like, overall outfit. Yes, nigga. And he, everybody, yeah. a whole crowd was just singing his shit, bro. I was like, oh, that shit was lit. That was, I seen online that, like, when his body was leaving the hospital, like, the streets of New York was, like, filled Filled up with them just playing his music and shit. So, that nigga made an impact, though. I know that. Man, that's sad. That's sad, man. That's sad. Rest in peace. Crazy to, world we live in. Rest in peace to DMX, the, one of the goats. You know what I'm saying? Man, but on to the first topic, you know. First topic, you're going to talk about, you know, broken hearts. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the first time somebody broke your heart. Shaq, let's go. <laughs> Are we going straight to me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, man. Like, my heart, I can't say my heart really been broken like that, man. I mean, I don't know. It's, just a, it's a tough one. Hey, Bernie, it's smell that? Bernie, smell that? Mm, cap. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, for real, man. I mean. I guess that was a lot heartbroken like two years ago when I, you know, when my ex broke up. But that was, you know, I shook back real quick. You know, I had the squad behind me. You know what I'm saying? No, we did. We wasn't behind you. You were heartbroken over her. Oh, uh, that's all right, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't about to disrespect. We ain't about to disrespect. Oh man, let's go to let's go to um Oshimari. Hey Oshimari, he's a OK in LA affiliate. You know what I'm saying? Go to go to uh, Oshimari first. Everybody got your heart broken. Okay. The story. You know. Uh, first time I've ever got my heart broken, or just any time. Any time. The one that makes <laughs> the one that makes you feel like, you know, like you felt that, like your heart was just. You, you listen. You, you listen. Oh, okay, okay. You listen. So, top ten Drake songs the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. So I had a friend, and like he was a real cool dude. And what was crazy was like we had like the same personality, same traits. So I figured. You know, everything was probably going to be a solid clue. Well, I don't know what happened in the process of it, but, like, we were hanging out, like, a lot of the times, and we went to the gym. We're supposed to be, like, gym partners. And then he just, out of nowhere, just, like, stopped returning calls and stuff. I'm like, yo, you want to go to the gym? And, like, he'll see the message, and he wouldn't reply. And I'm like, what the hell? Did I do something? So then... 
it just kind of like went ghost. And I was like, damn, like at first it was crazy because like we were just spending so much time and I just, you know, got attached, I guess. And that's when I was like, wow, some out here just looking dumb as hell, working out by myself. And I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? But it's cool. Like, if anything, it taught me to just do what I know best. That's that's how I am. Like, I don't, I fall quick for girls, but then like. Once I like talk to him for a while, that's when I'm like, "Yeah, this ain't for me. You ain't for me. You ain't no chief." You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I really never had my like heart broken like talk about, mm-hmm. but like I've been I've been in like some serious talks, but other than that, like I really haven't had like, like that. Was it like talks that you felt that could have progressed in the more, and it just like flatline died? That's uh, happened to me yeah. before. Tell us, preach, brother Sleep. Preach your truth. I ain't got nothing to say. All right, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. One. I made my little comment on the subject. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one of mine. He don't get his heart broken. He break hearts. I'm gonna tell you one of mine, sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> seven, seven grade. Girl, oh my god! It's the first toxic girl. I don't know this toxic girl I ever met in my life, bro. I don't know, bro. So we were texting, you know what I'm saying? She was talking about, how, we were talking about, you know, how much we liked each other and shit, doing the text or whatever, right? And I was like, are you trying to, you know, you want to you be my own girlfriend? She was like, nah, you know, I'm just focused on myself. I'm like, bitch, bitch, you 12. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bitch, oh we 12. <laughs> we 12, bitch. You know, I actually, I do got a story. Uh, but, but, um, keep yeah. Going. And like, I'm like, all right, man. I was like, all right, whatever, I'm done with this chick. Then she would run, run, run up to me in the hallway and just give me a big ass hug. Just give me a bunch of mixed emotions. Like at, at twelve years old, I couldn't handle that shit, man. I was <sighs> <laughs> like, nigga. <laughs> one day she made me happy, the other day she made my heart broke. Like, yeah, damn, bitch, pick one. <laughs> that that's my story, man. I, I ain't trust bitches after that. <laughs> Go ahead, Shalee. <laughs> All right, so this is my little story. You feel me? This was like first grade. All right, we, you know what I'm saying? We, we've been there a long time. It was first grade. I don't even remember the girl's name. Honestly. I just remember, like, anytime we had a little party at school or whatever, always sat by each other, everything. And then come to find out, she moved schools, and I was just the same fuck on earth. And that's it. Hey, moving, though, that's tough. You moved away. Yo. Mm. Dang, man. Hey, you know what hurt? That friend zone shit hurt. <laughs> you really hit I mean, that. it hurt, but it be, it be helping sometimes, though. It helps sometimes, but when you like, damn, I was really, I really like that girl. And she was with the, oh, uh, but you remind me of a brother. Uh. <laughs> well, Jane, what are you doing, step sis? You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. You just make sound. Let me anybody do this today, <laughs> 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 no, nah, but getting hit with that friend zone is tough, though. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one more story. You know, no, what? No, before I start the story, anybody ever been a simp before? Simp. No, never that. We don't simp. We pimp, big dog. Sex, stop. So you done? Everybody been been a simp at least one time in their life. Come on now, don't be capping in here on on for my podcast. Oh man. boy. I don't, I don't know about that simp shit, man. I got a simp story. Senior year, high school. Oh, shit. Dang, bro, this was recent. It was recent. Uh, four or five years ago, whatever. Yeah, senior year, high school. You know, I bought this girl a, a Christmas present. Right, that I, thought, that. that I thought I was talking to. Like, I thought we were doing something. <sighs> Turned out it didn't happen. She moved with the she moved with the brother line. Yo, you remind me of a brother. I was I was mad as fuck. Boy. <laughs> Ooh, I was mad, bro. Anybody's got some story? No, oh, mm, 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 mm. Uh, nah. no, no, don't try to don't try to show up in front of your in front of the the podcast listeners now. Yeah, I say I, I man, I got it, bro. Go ahead, the high school man. Like, you know, so I, 
I would front in front of like you know my peers, you know what I'm saying, uh, Lucky and Slate, you know what I'm saying. But on the low, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I saw this girl, anything she needed or wanted, bro. I just broke down everything and just gave it to her for no Whatever reason, bro. Okay, okay. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that, bro. It, 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 the, the right girl nothing, can get you. No. Nothing. I was, I was running with my hugging niggas. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, oh, it be no, like that bro. sometimes. Bro. Hey, look, bro. Every nigga get that little phase, bro. Time, they, well, they probably know what I'm talking about. A lot of times, bro, I bought a, 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 a giant bear, chocolate, everything. Ain't got nothing. Name start with a K? No. Who the name fuck? Who am I, I thinking? I know what the name started with. We, we, we ain't about to expose nobody in here, but come on now. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, don't, don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, I said, oh yeah, okay, yeah, that, 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 that. <laughs> Terrence was But yeah, man, I don't know. But then, like, once I, like, grew up and got out of high school, yeah. and, like, you know say that that's the old me, you know what I'm saying? Now, now I just... I do them girls wrong, bro. Now my boy, gangsta, boy. Uh, uh, boy <laughs> get up out here in these streets, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, part, my heart is like, it's like ice, boy. Like they I can't even get close. Nah. They start flinching. Mm. Yeah, I'm a cold with it. What about Yo. hey? What about the Jamaican chick? Never mind. Oh, uh, <laughs> Oshie, Mari, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaican chick. <laughs> chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Go ahead, Oshie, Mari. Don't need to go there. <laughs> go ahead, Oshie, Mari. Wait, what are we talking about? Shipping. <laughs> no, like the up. Jamaican chick. Nah, no, no, we, we good. We gonna be past that. To, oh, man, talk to him later, bro. Man. Hey, talk to him later, bro. Talk to him later, man. Talk to him later. You know what I'm saying? Don't disrespect me, boy. I was about to disrespect <laughs> I was. All right, go ahead, Oshimari. You got a shim story? Uh, not that comes to mind, honestly. I don't think I've ever been the simp. Oh yeah, people simping for you? No, just I don't know how to explain it. I, I guess like, uh, I ran about some stuff, but like, I wouldn't say like uh, I'm not even. I don't even know how to explain it. Honestly, can I just pass? Go ahead, we can pass. Pass. All right. Hey, uh, Sam, you got one? Fuck no, never been a simp, never will be. Yeah. That's, that shit went bam, anyway. <laughs> I feel like that's not bad. See, you don't want to go down that road. That'll burn a hole in your pocket, bro. Don't go down that road. Don't go down that road, man. You burn a. Yeah. Man. But once you get in too deep, bro, it's like, you'll be broke, trust me. My thing about relationships, right? You know what? If I ever get married and I get divorced by like 60, I'm going to be a sugar daddy. Real shit. No. I feel like that's worse than being a simp. A sugar daddy? You know, you know, you, 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 you don't try to look for another relationship? Well, not at 60. Come on, now. But I'm not going to be no sugar daddy. I'm not going to pay your bills for some ass. You know what I'm saying? At 60, it de- you know what I'm saying? It depends about the relationship. That depends if I got stamina. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, don't worry. Right. I'll be a sugar daddy. I'll be a sugar daddy. Fuck you. I'll fuck be. Uh, not twenty year olds, but like 30, 40, you know, this they got you know. Okay, kids. I was about to ask y'all about to say now what's your you know what I'm saying, your age that you was looking uh, for. He going straight after them them fresh out of high school. Don't oh, know what they want to nah, do with their life. Well, ain't no R. Kelly in here, ain't no Robert. Robert, sit down. You killing me with this <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting for my fucking life. Boy, hell no. But yeah, man, you know, you just got to find that special one that won't put you in the friend zone, you know what I'm saying? It comes eventually. I feel like that's tough. I feel like that's tough like, out here, man. It's tough out here. I feel like it's harder these days to get a relationship because, like, the way it is, cause, like, like, Meg Thee Stallion, for example, like, all her music, Cardi B, all her music, they be putting that, like, all that in their head, and they just, like, you got to have money, you know what I'm saying? You got to uh-huh, have, you know what I'm saying? Yes, like. So they, it's just hard to, like, if you ain't got none of that, then you ain't gonna get nothing. Like, I hate... Them. They want, like, yeah. they want a fucking Odell Belkin with money and all that stuff. So it's like, it's kind of hard to do. And no girls you just mentioned, you know, Cardi B, Max Stein, they saying all that for, like, all the, for all the single ladies, but they got, they all in relationships. You know? <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> don't make no sense. They all in relationships. High enough by standards. Their standards. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need a man with money. Um, 
um, look, I watch Kevin Samuels. He he be telling me some of the other girls the truth. You know, <laughs> he be he be very disrespectful. I don't know who that is. You never you ever seen any videos? Oh, he be getting disrespectful, <laughs> talking to people, boy, like talking to like how they want to like he giving people like relationship advice and shit, and <laughs> that nigga could be disrespectful, but I don't care. It'd be funny, but um, what's what's Oh, now we're on top of relationship. Like, what y'all look for in like a in a partner? You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. I want somebody funny. Funny. Give me a. Give me I a. I can't be the only. Yeah. I can't be the only funny one in the relationship. It ain't gonna work. Which not really funny. Who ain't funny? That's kind of <laughs> new. That's Tell us a joke, Shaq. I'm top five funny in the squad, and it's not jokes. Ooh. I ain't a comedian, bro. I'm just funny. Ooh. Funny, bro. Uh, uh, the we gonna wait. We gonna wait to get the whole squad in here one day, and we are gonna do that 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 thing for us <laughs> for the for the, uh, for the people. I'm, I'm just calling it like I see it, bro. Me say got my vote. Thank you. That's so big. Uh, I mean, that's big. But nah, yeah. A girl, I want a girl that's funny. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Make me laugh. Like some of these girls be. They personalities, bro, trash. She may be dry. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I also want I, I, I want a chick that's kind of smart. I say, yeah, I can't. Smart. Oh yeah, I, I don't don't want to have somebody, somebody smarter than me. Smart facts. Somebody with a somebody got you know. Ambition. But why oh, not hold on, hold on, hold on. though? Why you said somebody smart, but not smarter than you. No, I want why? like they got to be smarter than me. Yeah, they oh, got okay. dumbass. It sounded like you said like you didn't want no girl smarter than you. I'm like, yeah, yeah. why not? Like y'all both hustling money. I'm about to say, well, I mean, Gavin kind of slow, so that's not hard. Oh my god! Um, All right. If I'm slow, <laughs> what are you? <laughs> like, I'm a height don't matter, man. but like, I do want a girl. You know what I'm saying? As tall as me or taller than me. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to send my kids to the league. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is there a D1 baby? Yeah, I don't want no short. Hey, D1. I don't want no short chick. Mm-mm. I don't want no short little, you know what I'm saying, little, little nigga running around here. It don't even matter like, to me. I done seen some that's my height, mean? and I'm like, oh, shit. And I done seen I, some that's like four foot tall, and I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't want no short chick. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. if you get, Slay, if you get a girl like as tall as you or taller, a little bit taller than you, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's if D1. she's taller than me, yeah, than I don't that. know, but like, you know what I'm saying, if she's like right under me. If she's taller than Gavin, like, she was once a man. I'm putting it like that. <laughs> the Gavin is six four. Hey, straight up. Well, shit. I guess like if it comes to a relationship, I think I ask for too much. I ask for people to not lie. You know, loyalty, respect. Oh honestly. yeah, of course. Hey, of course, we all. Hey, that's it. Mm-hmm. That's all I really fucking want. But like I said, I don't really see it. So I just I'm content where I'm at right now. I don't really need Talk nobody. I think these are like wants versus uh, needs. So that's just want, accessory to me. I want somebody that has like something going for themselves too. So, like they can't be you no know, bro. I don't want no broke chick. You know what I'm saying? I want a girl that got a job. Yeah, they they gonna have something in the relationship. Bring something to the table. <laughs> Bring something to the table. You are not the table. Like, <laughs> I brought myself. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want the table. I don't want just a box. You know what I'm saying? I want like you know most stuff with it. You know what I'm saying? You know Straight what I'm up. Saying? Oh, if you if you the table, then bring the bring the chicken with it. You know what I'm saying? I want some chicken with the shot. Oh. You know the the baked macaroni, the mashed potatoes, gravy, something, something, you know? something, something man. No, because I watch it. Yeah, that bring coupon. Bring me some quesadilla or something. You feel me? It ain't even got to be a lot. I watch I watch this podcast, peer to peer podcast. Right? He said, um. Like what you bring to the table, and, they, and the girls be like, "Well, I cook clean. Why are you bringing up regular stuff? I can do that." <laughs> that's, oh, that's true. Hey, that is what do like, like, you know, like? What do you got to offer that I can't do? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bring something unique. Like say it's like you can tie a cherry stem with your tongue. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, hey, I can't I do, do that. that. I, can't I can't do that. that. Really? No, I can't do that. That's no. easy. Well, to me, it is. Man, so. hey, that's true. That's a headmaster. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Lord, we ain't trying to bring tongue, this huh? to the broadcast. I know. I, I know. Why we on the subject? Y'all might as well say it. I know this was podcast after dark. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 new segment, new segment. Hold on. 
podcast after dark. Yes, sir. I've been, I've been, uh, Mike. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what it is. It's podcast after dark. You know what? That's <laughs> it. I did that, y'all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's canceled already. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Hey, deduction. Deduction already? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what you what you look for in a, you know what I'm saying a partner you know what I'm saying oh she gotta be one she gotta be less than 100 pounds Jesus, <laughs> right, less than 100 she looking for, she looking for 100 pounds you gonna hurt that girl I don't know I just want somebody like Terrence said who's loyal don't lie ain't like morbidly obese I don't think that's too much to oh. ask for that's what I'm saying. Fat shaming, bro. Crazy, bro. It's 2021. Fat <laughs> shaming because I don't want my partner to be morbidly obese like you. Oh, no. Oh, 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 fire. That's facts, bro. Hey, bro. It's cool, though. It's cool, though. Hey, anybody ever been on, like, you know, the, the date naps? <laughs> no. Yeah. You know, Tinder from time to time, but that's really it. Tinder's not. I've been on Tinder before. That shit, man, Tinder boy, they they just want some dick in Tinder. No. Tinder <laughs> got extreme, from what I heard. Like girls can shake the phones. I'm not sure if it's for guys too, but girls can shake the phones and it sends off an alarm to let like dispatchers know their location in case they feel like uncomfortable and have somebody patrolling in that area. Oh, oh, oh what the oh. hell? I need that. Yeah, I was I was reading about that. They say if you shake the phone, I'm not sure if you gotta like install something or you have to sign up for something i'm not sure but they yeah, say they've been having a lot of cases of online dating wrong and somebody getting killed yeah, in the yeah i've been off tenant for both a few months now so you know <laughs> <laughs> imagine that girl just sitting there talking to you at the house be like you comfortable yeah and she's just shaking her phone the whole time <laughs> i'm like, I'm like girl, get out the car god damn <laughs> All you know I, you can put I, your phone down. Oh, I just forgot. all I did was pass you the ox. <laughs> <laughs> that was mistake number one. Why you passing her the ox? What she got? Oh, yeah, what you name is? I mean, she why, you, why you thinking? What I said was like, I like pineapples on my pizza. Dang! <laughs> oh, he crazy. Let me get him out. <laughs> Start shaking him. <laughs> oh boy, what you? Okay. That's crazy. I didn't know that. That's crazy. I mean, like, this is something I read about. I know they talked about it in certain states, but I'm not sure if this is, like, worldwide, but I wouldn't be surprised. That's just uh, that's what's okay. up. Hey, uh, okay. Um, first dates. You know what I'm saying? You got a, a nice young lady you about to take on a date. Or, you know, anybody you about to take on a date, right? And what, you, what where y'all going? Where y'all going? Well, to be honest, if we're going on a date, nine out of ten, we like the same shit. Because, I mean, I actually fucks with you. So, I mean, like, nine out of ten, bowling, go get some food, chill. Chill? That's how they want to That's boring. Trash. Yeah, we ain't never been on a date before. Who? Who ain't never been on a date? Who ain't never been on a date? Hey, I don't know what he talking about. Slate, like, what's the first date for you, man? Hey, she got a 1v1 me on Rust. Hey, hey. straight up. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. If she wins, she get the pick, you feel me? Okay. But right, she'll you never get the pick, you right. know what I'm saying? After, after, exactly, after, yeah, because I ain't losing. After that, then what you doing? Uh... I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, Misha. He got the bowling. I don't know why, but I can't get the bowl no more. So bowling is not interesting. I'm more of a like mini golf person. You feel me? You know, you know they say I'm something like Tiger Woods with it. So uh, you more like Tiger okay, Woods because okay. you line your ass off right now. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop talking then. Oh, uh, what about you, B? <laughs> uh, first day. Uh, I've been on. I've been on. You know, like two days from my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, one I went to uh, you know what I'm saying the theme park, amusement park. That yeah. was pretty fun. You know what I'm saying, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's, yeah, uh, hold on before you finish. Uh, Brandon, that's really that's one thing. They really ain't that common like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I say I'm I'm old school, bro. Like, I feel that. I, I do they, bro. I talk to, I talk to the father. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what's up with it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like yeah. I show up in a, a pants uh striped suit with a with a bowler hat, you know what I'm saying? Like hey, you know what I'm saying? Bro, my you saw that, bro? 
Cap. Cap. <laughs> like I'm just sitting here looking at the screen, Brendan. I really cannot take you serious with that profile picture. That man. <laughs> <laughs> It is shit a bowler hat. Oh hell no! All right, <laughs> we about to. Um, I have never seen Brendan wear a hat before in my life. Damn. Facts, I don't wear it. I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I got a hat on his head. That shit did not look right. Tim, what's the first date to you, man? First date? Yeah. Um, I do like to go out of town and first date. I guess like. Yeah, first date, like, oh, yeah. you got money. Because you don't want to just go up to someone's house. Like, I mean, that's cool if you do and stuff like that. It means they're comfortable. Oh, that ain't no date. <laughs> but it's just one of the things, like, I'd rather be out doing something, like, activity-wise. So I'd say bowling. Bowling? Okay. No, I'm, I'm thinking bowling, bowling is like a... Well, I mean, I'm dating guys, not girls. So. Uh, well, I never said that. What's up with bowling? Like, y'all just... Quick the bowling like uh, like at Beaver Park, water parks, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta well, think I mean, about okay, so what's like, out here wrong. like that. <laughs> this is still a first date, so I'm not looking for something super expensive. I can take you bowling for an hour and we can just chill and be up the whole time. And I mean they used to do like there, the discount so. better date. I was about to say, yeah, they used to do right. like the little discount thing, like after um like after ten it'd be free. Okay. Got me okay. thinking like, now. Okay. Got I didn't even know that. Really? It's like no. I think it's on like Fridays and Saturdays. Like I'd be really quiet. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's just I guess like that would be one of the choices that I'd have. And afterwards, you know, just probably walk around or something, or before that, just cruise around, listen to music, see what we're interested in, getting to know that person I for the that. date. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cause if not, I, if I'm not vibing and they bitter and bland, I just gotta go. First day just for. I think my first day was paintball. I'm saying that that'll be fun. Me and her one v one. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not hey. gonna have her first impression me be me her pinging her in the head with a paintball, bro. Hey, if she I could imagine three hundred and sixty head scope. She not, she not. She not built for the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I like what if I get into it? You know, blasting and stuff. And like, I need her to you know pull the trigger, and she getting shot in the head. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel that. I don't, because I'm not. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, nah, but when it comes to me in first date, you know what I'm saying? I like to be out of the, out of you know, extraordinary. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta spend your money like that, King. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the free art gallery. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the amusement. Boy, this ain't a movie. Hey, he got a thing though. I mean, like honestly. On the first date, I feel like the reason I also say bowling is because, you know, I, I want to know if she got a little competitive side to it, bro. I want to know if we can make things hey. interesting and have some fun while we all done. Being competitive. That's, I don't want no people going to be like, I'm just not good at this and want to sit down and play on her phone afterwards, bro. Ask them, ask them, ask them chicks that be in gym class. Don't dress out. <laughs> yeah, come on, I'm not dressing out today. I don't want nobody lame. Mm-hmm. I feel that. I, I mean, but you lame, so I mean, we'll just cancel out. Man. I, 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 I thought that you said it, you know what I'm saying? Let's say I go out to eat, right? Y'all, if you ask her out, you, y'all paying, right? Uh, If I ask her out, yeah. It depends. It depends, I feel that. Hey, the date bad, fuck that. Like, at first, we'll be paying, but then when, if she started like, you know what I'm saying? Ordering, you know, like ordering, ordering, then I'm like going crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me get the lobster, the shrimp, the pasta. Let me get well, the chicken. I feel like you shouldn't go nowhere like super expensive. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Popeyes, boy, we can walk. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I'm not saying like that. I mean, like, take ass to Chili's and y'all get the two for 25. Hey, oh, hey. I was literally thinking that. I'm like, don't Chili's have that little two for 20 or two for 25 yeah, thing or whatever. I'm getting that. Uh, I think I have too. They got a, a deal for like two people. Well, yeah, me. I mean, I can. I mean, honestly, I go to I can go to Outback for my little date. You know what I'm saying? Half That's off. true. That's <laughs> what I do. Texas Damn. Roll, Texas Roll House Chili. Hey, you eat. Hey, if she complains, she can go take her ass home. <laughs> well, that was, I was about to say. That's kind of like that would be my red flag, honestly. Like if you can't like. I don't know. I'd see it as like a red flag in my eyes because if one of us is doing already enough and you can't provide, I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to be left out. Mm. I feel that. Yeah. I can just see it now already. Just be eating big ass bowl of all you can eat while you're just sitting there 
what you wanted as free. <laughs> hey, but what is what's the first date, right? And she just like, oh, I got it. What's the first thing you say? <laughs> I know y'all feel play. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you, son. On my technical, on technically our first date with my ex, she said I got it, and the first words that came out my mouth was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, well, shit, then. Hold on, okay. You got it? <laughs> I was straight up like, all right, bet. Hey, boy, I'll be happy a little. You got it? I was like, you can't, you can't be like, you know, either she be like, I got it. You can't be like, you sure, because then she's going to change her mind. So you just got to, you know, you gotta be bet. quick with it. Be all like, right, okay, bet. Okay. All right, bet. <laughs> it's confirmed. I just got to confirm it to you. Well, second well, verification. I feel like if she pays for, like, the first date, you got it. You got to pay for the next one. Who say? Who said that? <laughs> if there's a next one, <laughs> okay. I'm about to say because that sounds like a that sounds like it was a setup. Like, hmm, I wonder if he's gonna be a gentleman and jump in and be like, oh no, I can get my own, or you know, if he's putting in, I can at least do something. She's probably <laughs> assuming that. So, like, let me test him out real quick. As soon as, she, as soon as the second day, she'd be like, I got it. The same words will come out my mouth. Cool. You can always kind of feel that out during out throughout the date if it's going to be a second one or it's going to be a relationship afterwards or whatever. Yeah, I feel like if it's getting a little bit dull, I'm gonna just bring them to Walmart and tell them to pick anything off the top shelf. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't too many people out here doing it like me. You feel me? Okay. I'm gonna say, I can reach up there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know too many people that can. Ah, you know what I'm saying? And the thing with first date, we. Us like man, we, we, it's a lot of pressure on us to like lead the conversation. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. If it's the first date in her spimmy just here, bro, she gotta pay. Oh my god! <laughs> but what if you have to spimmy too? You know what I'm saying? What what I'm you know, what I'm telling her, what I'm telling her, I got the spimmy for. Then how you know she got hers? I feel like she talked too much. She told me. Okay. Okay. All right. That Jamaican chick I was talking to, I took her to the aquarium on, on our first date. Uh, it was a cool aquarium, but I ran through that shit so quick, like it was a blur, and like just just the whole vibe was just off, like like that's how I was like, yeah, this I don't think it's gonna work out. Mm. And like she was like, let's go eat. The guy brought her straight back to her house, drove an hour straight, brought her straight back to her house, and just ghosted her after that. I'm like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. It, it'd be like that sometimes. Ooh, it, it, boy, a gangster. It'd be that vibe. Is it really a ghost? Or like, I don't know. I wouldn't consider that a ghost if you like confirmed it with her. Like, yo, can't do this. No, yeah. I didn't talk to her. We just, it was, the whole ride home was quiet. And then I dropped off. I said, bye. <laughs> you ain't sit that to her for a whole hour. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is so <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> I can only <laughs> imagine you. Imagine not talking to her. And the sad part is, I worked with her, so I've seen her like every night. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Them working relationships. Uh, that's something uh, I can't do. I love watching people in relationships that go to work together. Because I'm like, oh, man, y'all don't look happy to be with each other today. I tried that at my job, man. Woo. When I first, my first year. That's what I mm. oh, Go ahead. I tried that at my job my first year. Ooh, man, that's tough. That is tough. <laughs> I'm not going to get into it, but that shit tough. So that's why I, I try like, not to date like, on my like people that I work with because if it ends ugly, that would just be the just awkward, like, awkward eight hours. Yeah, that'll mess the whole job. It, up. Didn't, it didn't even end bad for me. It just it was just awkward. It's, it, it's it's just very awkward. Y'all yeah, see each other and try to avoid each other, but at the same time, it's like you want to say something, but you don't. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, yeah. I ain't never like, been through it, but I see it. It's yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it is very bad. Man. I feel like you got to be bad. Like I feel like there's no positive outcome to that. I feel that it's just I don't know why, but I, I get the vibe. Like it's kind of one of the things. Like damn, why did I do that? And at the same time, it's like oh well, it's whatever. But it's really not whatever. And it's like I don't know. It's like it, it's like having people force themselves to be each other's enemies. I mean, I really feel like. You probably wonder why I do that. Then she walked by and you like, that's why I did that. Mm. <laughs> why do I picture that? 
Like, damn, yeah, was he always like, like this? Why are you talking <laughs> to this crazy bitch? Whoa. Hey, you doing something after work today? That's it. That's my problem. I can only I imagine it killing them, like... I ignore all the red flags if they got a fat ass. Mm. And this is why you single so now. So you just out here jumping and throwing bushes, okay. This is yeah. why you single now. I mean, exactly why you single. I mean, we all single, but, you know, <laughs> okay. this is why you single now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um okay, okay, I got one. Can y'all can you can you if you were the opposite sex of yourself, right? Could you date yourself? Yes. Oh absolutely. Maybe. I'm a fucking guy. I'm a funny dude. Hey. Straight up. Straight up. I can totally do that. Oh, I would man, I would feel like I was in it. Wait, so it's the opposite sex of me. Like, are they like just like me? Or yeah, exactly, like, just, just like just you. Just like you. Oh, oh look at this. Look at this. They're exactly yeah, just like me. Then I, no, I couldn't. I can, no, not one hundred percent like me. It got to be some different. Like, you got to be into some other things that I don't. That you got to introduce me to, and I the same. So, like thing. the if the girl version of me, you know, what I'm saying it's probably, it's probably smart. So I'll be like, you know, conflicted about that. You know, what I'm saying. No, and she and she be roasting yeah, your ass like you be up. roasting niggas. <laughs> I don't know. Version of myself, that's a very tough question. I don't know, man. <laughs> I think my I think I want my girl to be more energetic than me. Cause <laughs> I do some dumb I do some dumb reckless shit. I feel that. And I'm gonna need someone who's gonna be able to tell me not to do some dumb reckless shit. And I, I don't really have an attitude. I like it. You know, I look you like a girl with a little attitude. I ain't gonna lie. A little, just a little bit. Not too much. They get on my nerves. Enough just is like, you funny as fuck. It's just funny. I don't know why. Girls with attitude is just funny to me, bro. <laughs> that shit crazy. But alright. Oh, I don't know about that girl with the attitude thing. A little attitude. You know what I'm saying? You wanna, you know, I, don't, I don't, man. I don't know, son. Not like she make. I don't argument. have an attitude. Not like an argument. Nah, every, I got one. Not like an argument every day type chick. Mm-mm, none of that. What you mean, like someone who's gonna bow up? No, I just. I, don't, I can't really explain it. You mean like you mean like you want a chick like Pam off of Martin? Oh yeah, I say that. Yeah, that's that's a yeah. Little little, uh, little uh, attitude. That funny. Some some. That can joke on, bro. We can joke on each other. That shit. Oh yeah, whoever. Since, the next thing I get when she got it, she gotta be able to joke. Sense of humor gotta can't. be on a hundred with me, cause I love that shit. It gotta be on a hundred. I feel I, that. Because not not too many things I take serious. <laughs> oh, we know. That's <laughs> shut your ass up. You you ain't take your body serious. Look at your body. Oh my god! I got a six pack. I don't know what you talking about, bitch. I'm Cap. <laughs> <laughs> don't you ever get in your life and say you got a six pack? They want my ladies on Instagram. I think. I'm <laughs> Turn the camera on right now. She look. My camera really. Hey, she, Dre, say it's too late to join. He just got on. I got a malfunction, and it's too. It be like we like forty minutes in right now. Yeah, it's too late. And All right. So, next thing, right? Uh, during the first date, the conversation we it, it's pressure on us to like lead the conversation. You know what I'm saying to to move on along the date. So how how would you deal with somebody that's not that's not cooperative like cooperative with your doing the date? Oh, if, if she's not moving along with the conversation, that's it. I'm gonna be like, uh, you ready to go? You trying to like it all depends. Like, what, what have we done at this point? Like, have we ate already? Like, have we done an activity? No, it's dinner. It's doing dinner. It's doing we going out to eat. I say that. Like, okay, so like we in the middle of going out to eat. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. After this, I'm gonna make up an excuse. I gotta go home. Me, I have to be blunt. I like, that. is this as dry as you can be? Or do you have something you want to talk about? Pick a topic. Like, I would force it on that person. 
because if I'm going out of my way already, I'm out the house and I just cancel plans and you are the plan. I have an issue at this point. Well, yeah, you gotta you gotta communicate. You gotta let them know. You know what I'm saying? Damn, your conversation dry. I know that thing dry. Oh my god. <laughs> So when you have sex, do you prefer to be in the bathtub since he came? <laughs> and that's where she just walks up and leaves. Such a creep. <laughs> Bitch, hey, I can't look, believe hey, you. Just like, come on. I wanted to get up and leave. Um, sir, waiter, sir. She ain't pay for her food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, me, sir. The way to come up. How point, are we splitting the bill? How are we paying? Oh, yeah, Shepard. <laughs> oh, straight up. Sure. I'm be like she went to go get her wallet point, out the car. I feel like at this point it's not even <laughs> a date. We're just at the same place eating together, so you can pay for your own shit. If you're gonna be dry and boring, we should we could have did this on a park bench with some McDonald's. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, uh, start talking. God damn. <laughs> I don't know because sometimes I end up being that person, you know, like like you know, dragging the conversation and stuff. I don't know. I'm just a, like an awkward dude. You know what I'm saying? So like, I am. Damn. I'll just let it go. Continue. continue, continue. <laughs> like, Damn, don't walk out. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's just like because sometimes like a conversation will spark and I'm into it, mm-hmm. and then like sometimes she'll say like one thing or like you know something, and it would just like kill the vibe. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Give an example. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you okay. can give an example. <laughs> like, say, like, we, we talking about, like, you know, what we want to do in our life and stuff like that, or, like, our goals. And, like, she ended up start bringing up, like, family or her ex or something like that, like, what he did or what he was going to do. And, like, the, and she was following his Yeah, death. you feel like they're still clinged on to him? Yeah, I'm like, okay, well, then, obviously, you still thinking about this person. So, like, what am I doing here sitting, like, sitting here like a dummy? You know what I'm saying? Being a rebound for you. You know what I'm saying? I hate, uh, yeah, I hate, I hate them okay, old. Okay, I feel that. I hate them old. Yeah. I hate them old. What's this guy? Relationship type girls. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And then they'll end up going back over there with them. And it'll be the same stuff all over again. Yeah. Hey, I ain't going to Hey, man, all I'm saying is, hey, look, bro. If you don't do the address, we can go <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, but it. If she, if she, if I bring up anime, she like, ill anime. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, <laughs> check, please. Split him up. Hey, it's straight up. We gotta go. <laughs> like, I feel like before we, I feel like before you even went on that date, you should have discussed anime with her and seen if she was even into it. You're right. You right. Hey, if but I, no matter what, you got me. I think you just want to just throw it on her while y'all just sitting there, you know, eat spaghetti or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're right. You're I feel right. like there's certain conversations that should have that should happen before you even, you know, go out. Like, or you seriously. can just wear like something anime, anime related just hey. to see if they'll catch the eye of hold it. On, hold on. Like, oh yeah. Hey Slate. Yo. Was you, was you on a date, right? You was like, Yeah. You know, I really like like you, you brought up basketball. She was like, Oh, you like basketball? Yeah, I like the uh, the other day Luca went off. What you doing? Oh, hey. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on, we hold going straight to K-Jewelers. It's over. Wait, say that again. <laughs> hey. Like Slate, no, Slate brought up basketball, right? It ain't that deep, but. Slate brought up basketball, and she was like, oh, you like you watch the NBA? Man, the other night, my favorite player, Lucas, just went off. The the girl on the date said, <laughs> Mm-mm. that boy Slate will bust hey. right there. That's straight up. <laughs> He done. Right, I'm going to the bathroom. Hold on. Gotta go fix something. Okay. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> this dude's stupid. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but, um. Oh, <laughs> it just, I gotta go to the bathroom. Hold on. Straight up. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. If a, girl, if a girl said, if I brought a Dragon Ball Z, she was like, oh, man, Gohan, my favorite character. Gohan. Oh yeah, and my favorite basketball oh, player, Russell Westbrook. Up. Russell Westbrook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Triple Double, right? Yeah, Mr. Triple. Come on, come on, break up, bro. 
You gonna come meet my mama, girl. Come on. <laughs> He said you come to see my mother. I'm done. Come here, my mama. Mama, this is the girl I'm gonna marry. <laughs> mama, this is the girl I'm gonna marry. I'm over here crying. Huh? Mama, this is the girl I'm gonna marry right now. Get the reverend. <laughs> Boy said, get the reverend. Get the reverend. Mama called TD Jakes. Oh. <clears throat> well, let's talk about. Okay, last week episode. We introduce some of the people. Let's introduce some of the new people. We should have done this at the beginning, but fuck it. I thought uh, you did. Just do, like, no, nah, we introduced them, but, you know, tell them about yourselves a little bit. We're going to start with um, Psychotic Pots. Come on now. Oh, I said that shit psychotic. wrong. Psychotic? I said that wrong. Oh, man. Uh, don't, don't, don't. I knew Domo couldn't read. Oh, psychotic. Psychotic, psychotic yeah. Pots, bro. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Psychotic? Well, psychotic. let me find out. Oh, you know I'm the resident white man here for white man approval. That's about straight it. Up. Right, straight up, straight up, straight up. We don't need no white man approval. We don't need a white man approval. He ain't one. Brother. He ain't one. Brother. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That's you why I'm here. <laughs> All right, <go. laughs> Brendan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm a founder of uh, OK in LA. You know, me and Domo back in the day. You know what I'm saying? We worked at Walmart together. Oh, and we just had this little party. All right, all right. <laughs> I know you lying. <laughs> she work at Walmart Cal. together. <laughs> Cal. Hey, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. He's, he's stupid. So I hate him. All right, go ahead. You know what? Bring the bulls in tea. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm Terrence. Um, uh, I don't know what to say. Um. Well, I guess uh, I knew uh, Meshack before I met the rest of the crew, but through them, All right, that's we it. developed I'm this playing. bond. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> we developed a cool bond, so I consider them brothers. Are you straight up? That's an unreliable brother, anyway. Oh, oh my God. I am unreliable. Like, don't come to me with problems. Oh, I thought you were talking about Meshack. I was talking about Meshack, but whatever. Hey, you know. Yo. Speak your <laughs> truth. <laughs> speak your truth. <laughs> Man, I gotta be unreliable. Yeah, you ain't unreliable. You just not reliable. No. Okay, that makes sense. What's up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that makes so much sense to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know when you know I speak deep into the mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, look. I'm a deep thinker, my brother. Check this out. When you coagulate and incinerate. All right, it's time to wrap it up. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. I thought he was gonna say, "Check me out," and I was just expecting him to click, just leave, or like just end it right there. <laughs> All right, man. Man, I just think it's crazy. It's evil world we live in. It's evil world we live in. Any um, any um, uh, <laughs> any uh, you know, what I'm saying last words. Any last words? Closing <laughs> remarks, not last words. Closing we remarks. Dying. Oh, any closing? <laughs> man, look, bitches ain't shit. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all girls are like, bro. They're the same. They all the same. Boy. Boy, nah, nah. Uh, Boy. Don't move. Oh. Uh, they're, they, they good. They good. <laughs> hey, I love women. Hey, women. I'm Damo. Damo Toe. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up on Instagram. Just find me. Black guy. Hey, women. Under. This is why This is why your mic stay muted, Sam. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> why? Cause you fucking hey, stupid. Hey, women. Huh. I was repeating you, though, man. Huh. Huh. Women. This is why your mic stay muted, sir. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> real, <laughs> real niggas talking. Sit your ass down. You know what I'm saying? That Kiss might be the Shut up. You know what I'm <laughs> it's getting real hostile. We should probably wrap this yeah, up. Yeah, it's getting very hostile in here. All right, bet. <laughs> we gonna we gonna we gonna. <laughs> What's that? Anyways. Play us out. Play us out. I got you. Hey, this has been another podcast. Okay in LA. Find us on Spotify, YouTube, all them other streaming services you might find us on. I don't know what we're going to be at. You know what I'm saying? We might- <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs>